All right, everybody, how's it going? Uh, Paper Hero here with a level of detail or LOD tutorial of Unreal Engine 4. This is how to get a quick, dirty, and easy uh, LODs for your skeletal mesh model. Now, keep in mind that this will also work for static meshes. You just have to not, I mean, you don't have to worry about the, the skinning step at the very end. Okay, so here I have a model that I made for uh, a project of mine, and you are, the download link is in the description. Uh, you're allowed to use this for all your projects, but if you're going to go with a commercial project, please, please, please ask permission first, just so I can know what's going on. And uh, I also have the link to contact me in the description as well. Okay, so without further ado... Let us get started. Now, here we have a fully rigged model using biped. You can see that we can move around and we got some action going on here. Now, to make the LODs, we're just going to do the body for this example, but it'll work with the rest of the parts like the shoulders and the head and whatnot. But we're just going to go ahead to the edit and we're going to clone our body object, make a copy of it. We're just going to call it LOD1. Click OK. And so now you can see you have this second rig biped already ready to go, and you want to just keep it at the zero zero mark. All right, now we want to create a selection set for this. We're just going to call it LOD one, and then we're going to hide LOD one. Just right mouse click, hide selection, and then we're going to want to select all the different parts of the the non LOD, the the base mesh. So we've got all the parts selected, and we're just going to go ahead and name this base mesh up here. Just like so. And then you're just going to hit H to bring up your select from scene. Uh, make sure select children is on. Then you're going to select the uh, apothecary rig. Click OK. Then you're going to call this biped or bones or whatever you want. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hide the biped, hide the selection. We're going to go up, select the base mesh, hide that selection. Oops, looks like I forgot something on the base mesh, but that should be fine. Then we're going to bring up LOD1. It's going to say, hey, this is a frozen object. Are you sure want to unhide them? Of course we do. So just select yes. Now, right off the bat, we're going to delete the skin modifier on this because it's not going to be compatible with what we make in the... And the LOD. So we're just going to go ahead and delete that. We're going to go to this magic modifier. If we go down to Pro Optimizer. Now, you're probably tempted just to go ahead and hit calculate. Oh, yeah, and I could just lower the vert count. But holy crap, what is this? All my UVs are gone. Now, luckily, there's a super simple, easy way we can preserve our UVs and decimate the model with very low distortions. So we're just going to go down to materials and UVs, we're going to click keep textures and we're also going to make sure that keep UV boundaries is selected with zero tolerance. Okay, so now go ahead and we're going to calculate this. Bring the verts down and you can see that Max handles it really well. It's preserving pretty much all of the UVs that we had before. So we're going to keep cranking this down and we can see that it starts to distort the the model a little bit but that shouldn't really matter since you're going to be viewing this model at a distance anyway and most of the textures is going to be I mean the texture is going to provide most of the detail of the model anyway so once we get down to a poly count that we kind of like we're just going to go ahead to the modifier list now if you were doing a static mesh this is probably the only step you'd have to do you would know export this as your FBX file and then it all should be good but since this is a skeletal mesh and we want to preserve the way it animates we're just going to go ahead and we're going to go down to skin wrap Now this is another magic modifier that you're going to be using a lot and it's really useful to know okay so with skin wrap selected we're gonna go ahead and unhide the base mesh it's gonna ask us if we want to we're gonna click yes they're gonna go ahead and select the LOD one and we're gonna click add you need to click H and select the uh, the body for this but we can just select the body and it should give us the 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 base mesh 
Now, with that selected, we're just going to go ahead and test this. See how well it does. We're going to select the base mesh. Hide that selection. Then we're going to bring up the biped. And then yes. So let's go see how well this deforms. And you'll see it deforms pretty well. With accordance to what we had before. Now, it's not perfect, mind you, because the, the vertex is different, the vertex count and the topology of it, but since you're viewing this at a distance, it shouldn't really matter too much. Now, I know you're probably tempted just to go ahead and export this as your LOD, but there's one more step you need to do. Now, first what you need to do is click on your Pro Optimizer uh, modifier again. You're going to right mouse click it and collapse to and hold yes. Now what that basically does is it's going to make your new LOD just an edible mesh because sometimes when you leave it on Pro Optimizer, when you export it as an FBX, it will just export the high poly model, which is not what you want at all. And so then, probably now you're just like, okay, let's go ahead and just export this. But no, there's one more step that you must take. And that is you need to go down to the skin wrap modifier. And you need to go down to this magic button that says Convert to Skin. Now that's a, This is a really handy button because it keeps your skin wrap modifier, but it disables it. And it also gives you a brand new skin modifier that's based on your skin wrap. Okay, so now you are ready to just select your LOD. Probably all your bones, too, if you want it. Oops, don't click on mail. <laughs> uh, export your model. As an FBX, call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call mine Apoth Tutorial LOD1. No, okay. And there's some error messages that should be fine. Now if we go ahead and click on Unreal. Please don't update. Let's go ahead and launch Unreal. Launch none real should be faster because I have a solid state drive, but it's not being very quick. All right, so you're going to go ahead and click on your project. Now, there's a way to export your skeletal mesh in one export with all of your LODs, and but that method has not worked for me in the past. If you want to learn more about it, just Google LOD Skeletal Mesh in the uh, Unreal documentation. It'll tell you how to set that up. But for my workflow, I just export each LOD as its own FBX file. And then when I go ahead to my Skeletal Mesh, to import your new LODs, you're just going to go to LOD Auto, Level of Detail Settings. And from here, you can import your different LODs, and it'll give you triangle count. And this is a, a finished model that I had for all the parts and we're just going to go ahead and start previewing the different LODs and you can see slight shifts in the texture and the the models and you can really see it if you click on wireframe and there you have it that is a quick dirty and easy way to make your LODs in 3ds max all right if you have any questions leave a comment